good morning. Hi there. I'm Maddie Harvey of Maddie Harvey Designs and um, welcome to my Thursday live video, um, Knits and Cake for Breakfast, <laughs> that I do every Thursday. I'm a knitwear designer and knitting teacher. I'm based in Edinburgh and my um, passion is helping knitters develop their creativity and their confidence with my knitting patterns, kits and online events. So um, the, the, the idea behind the, the name of these uh, weekly videos is that before, well, 18 months ago, I was running a weekly in-person knit night and I would always do some baking for that on a Wednesday night. And then on the Thursday morning, there would be some leftover cake for my breakfast. So I just, I've been trying to keep in the habit of baking every week because um, it's nice to have something homemade in the house and um, I what I do every week is I share what I've been baking and um, what I've been working on so some behind the scenes stuff and then I also do a little video tutorial which actually I've started doing separately to save me faffing about with the camera so this week I'm going to be um, showing you how to work out how much yarn you've got left when you're knitting a shawl and how to um, kind of work out how many more rows you can you can knit so that you can make your shawl a little bit bigger and also make the most of your yarn and um, especially if you've bought yarn especially for a pattern um, it's nice to make the most of the lovely yarn that you've bought um, and not have lots and lots of leftovers so um, I'll post that up a little bit later um, after this this live video gets posted up on Instagram and Facebook and also on YouTube. So so this week I have made kind of an unusual cake. Um, so I'll show you what it looks like. It's a loaf and I've put butter on because it's one of these recipes that doesn't have any fat in the sponge. So and it's actually um, a beetroot cake and it's got, um, well these are sultanas, the recipe said raisins but I had sultanas. So you grate the beetroot and you put it in with the mixture um, and it has cinnamon and nutmeg and it's from this book this veg book um, by Hugh Fenley Whittingstall which is one of my that you can see most loved <laughs> recipe books in my kitchen um, we're mostly veggie in this house so um, I, I use this book quite a lot and we also get um, like a veg box so um, so that we get that every second week and sometimes it has vegetables that you perhaps wouldn't always pick if you went to the shops um, and this book is great for those kind of vegetables because you can do lots of things with them this, this whole book is vegetable recipes so it's a really good one and in the back it's got a few kind of um, sweet recipes with vegetables so it has this one then it's supposed to be um, pumpkins and uh, raisin tea loaf but it also this book's quite good because it gives you the recipe and then it also gives you different options which I quite like um, so you can do a courgette um, tea loaf a carrot tea loaf or a beetroot tea loaf so um, so that's quite it's quite a good recipe because you can basically if you've got veg you can chuck it in a cake I mean you know that there's some veg that will work better than others but I've done it with courgettes before and that's quite nice um the, the thing about doing it with the beetroot is though when you've grated all the beetroot you get red hands you know for the next day it kind of stains your fingers and also the top of the cake and the mixture is like is bright pink it's you know so it doesn't look the most appetizing but it tastes nice um and it's not too sweet either which is sometimes good so um yeah i had every every time you've had a veg box recently it's had beetroot in it and um I, I have a few recipes that i do with beetroot um but sometimes you, you need something different so that that cake recipe is quite a good one um yeah so and also that one the kids won't eat it which I quite which is quite good if it's cake <laughs> because sometimes if I make something that my kids really like it's all gone 
you know, and I don't get a look in very much, so, you know, they wouldn't need a beetroot cake. So that's, that's a win-win for me. Um, yeah, so that's what I've been baking this week. Um, and I was going to show you some, a couple of things that I've been working on, and then I'm going to talk about this finished shawl. So last week I was saying that I'd started knitting some leg warmers, um, but I forgot to bring the actual leg warmers through with me to show you. So I've got them down here. Um, oh, you can see that's quite good because it's very dark. This is the lovely dark grey from Cambrian um, wool and I have it on a cone. Um, so it seems like the most ridiculous, like massive cone for a little leg warmer, but there you go. <laughs> um, so I just started off with, I'm just sort of making this up as I go along. Um, two by two rib, traditional rib at the bottom. And then I've gone into the garter rib, um, which I really like doing. And I think it looks nice and it's got a bit, um, it's a bit more open than the, than the kind of traditional two by two rib. And then what I've started doing is doing some increasing um, here. Oh, can you see that very well there? So I've made, I did some yarn overs and I did an increase, but I'm not actually sure that I like how that looks. Um, so kind of unusually for me, I don't, I didn't swat, do any swatching. Um, and I usually do a lot of swatching and now I'm slightly regretting not swatching because now I'm going to rip this back. So what I might actually do is I might cast on a little swatch and try a couple of options for this increasing. So that's going to be like at the back of the leg, going up your calf. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'll probably stop, rip this back and then I'll cast on a little swatch and I'll just try out a couple of little increases because I need to keep the where's that gone I need to keep the rib pattern um, and I quite like the way that that's kind of coming out there so I want to keep that but I'm not I'm not overly pleased with the little increases that I've done so I will I will go back and do that again I think um, and the other thing that I've been doing is um, I've been doing some swatches with my um, Jameson and Smith two ply jumper weight that I stock in my online shop um, and I'm making some little sort of fade kits so this one is um, orange and pink and then yellow and then it's going into this oatmeal and then it'll go into grey and this is um, using the double pass technique that I love so much um, and it's been in my trig point shawl, the mystery knits along, which is just about um, finishing up. So single row stripes knitted flat. You do two right sides and then two wrong sides. So um, so this is a kind of swatch of some of the stitches that are in this shawl, which I'll talk about in a moment. Um, and I'm going to have some kits using the Jameson and Smith um, yarn up in the shop next weekend. So I've just been swatching. So this one is sort of like a pinky orange one. Um, and then the other version will be blues, blues and greys. And this is pinky oranges and greys. Um, yeah, so I've just started that one, but this is actually the second attempt because the first time I had the colors around the other way and I didn't, I didn't like how that was coming out. So I've swapped them over. So hopefully that won't take me too long to get those done. Um, so this shawl is a new pattern um, and I have designed this for um, the online knit retreat which is happening on Sunday. So um, we're going to be dyeing yarn with Leona of Rusty Ferret Yarns and I've designed this shawl for everybody so they've got something um, to do with the skeins that they, that they dye. Um, so it's a top down triangular shawl and it's called Only Connect and it has these, I'm really loving these increases in the middle here, these big increases, um, and it's single row stripes and different textures, and you change colour, so it's 150 grams of four ply. So 
people that are coming to the knit retreat on Sunday um, are going to get this pattern um, as part of their goodie bag but otherwise it will be um, I'm going to launch it to everybody else uh, hopefully next Friday so that's the 11th of June um, so if you are if you're not on my mailing list um, and you fancy getting hold of this it would be worth signing up to the mailing list because I always give um, mailing list people uh, a discount on new patterns um, so you can do that at my website Maddie Harvey Designs if you just scroll down to the bottom there's a button to press to subscribe so that's um, yeah going to be for everybody else next next weekend um, I'm taking part in the Yarn Craft, Yarn Craft Fest, which is quite hard to say, um, which is happening on Saturday and Sunday next week, 12th and the 13th of June. My slot is on the Saturday morning, 9.25 um, on Instagram Live. And I'm going to have uh, kits for the Only Connect shawl in the Jameson and Smith that I was just showing you. But I'm also going to have my wild rye shawl um, as a pattern and kits. Um, this is the original that was done for the Knitter magazine. Um, but the kits are going to be in the Cambrian wool full ply. So this is again using the double pass um, and it has this fringe in which you make as you go. Um, so my lovely sample knitter Debbie has been knitting me a sample in the Cambrian um, wool and it looks lovely. It's in the pink and the very pale grey. Um, so, so I'll have kits for that and patterns and the other thing that I'll have is pattern, a pattern for my Feshi shawl um, which is a lace, triangular lace shawl. That was part of Black Isle Yarns and um, Perspectives book. So I'll have the pattern for that and I'll also hopefully have the Cambrian um, wool full ply available for that as well, which I think would would be a great um, a great yarn to knit this in. This is done in um, Black Isle Yarns Ocken full ply. It's really big. Um, so I'm going to need to do some swatches with the Cambrian for this as well. So so that's three shawls all uh, coming out next week. So Feshi, Only Connect and Wild Rye. And I'm going to do a special bundle for the weekend of the Yarn Craft Festival. So you'll get three shawls for a special price and mailing list people will be able to use their discount code on the, on the bundle as well. And... Fingers crossed I'll have kits for all three uh, in the online shop. I'm getting in a tangle now. <laughs> well, I think that's me for this morning. Um, I will post the little tutorial about weighing yarn and there's a little bit of maths involved. So just to help you um, work out, you know, how many more rows can you do on that shawl and how much yarn is the, is the uh, edge and the cast off and everything going to take. So, um, look out for that later on um, otherwise I will see you next Thursday okay bye <laughs>